hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so this is part 18 of api testing series and today we are going to talk about how we can upload and download file using postman so let's get started so i'm going to take help from this website which is the internet herokuapp.com so i'll provide the link in the description box of this video so that you can browse this website and you can take help from this website so here we have different examples for other purposes as well suppose you want to you want to do practice on selenium automation so you can use different examples from this website like uh, broken images challenging dom checkboxes context menu right so we have different options over here uh, different examples like drag and uh, drag and drop how you can do drag and uh, drag and drop dynamic loading uh, and then we have a horizontal slider right some jQuery uh, UI menus so you can utilize this website uh, for your selenium automation as well so just go through this website guys uh, this is very good website so for today uh, uh, as we are talking about the API testing right uh, and uh, using postman how we can upload and download file which we are going to discuss today so here we have couple of options two links are there file download and file upload so let me click on this file upload first so you'll see the interface like this file uploader and choose a file uh, on your system and then click upload so here we have an option called choose file using which we can uh, choose any file from our system right and then we need to click on this upload button so this is just for single purpose uh, like single file we can upload from here we cannot upload the multiple files so i'll show you how we can upload the single file using postman as well Later on, probably if I get any other example, then I'll show you how we can upload the multiple files as well. So let me take you to Postman and uh, data variable concept. This is what we have discussed last time. So if you haven't watched like uh, part 17, then I would recommend go to uh, that video, particular video and then watch that video. So what I'll do here, I'll create a new collection, blank collection and uh, simply I'll give name upload and download demo and uh, I'll create a request click on new request and what kind of request we need to create so let's say this is uh, for upload purpose right so uploading upload file so here we have created upload file and what kind of request we need to send whether we need to send gate or post right we need to understand that so let me show you so here this file uploader from this link right and uh, simply what you need to do just inspect this one this upload functionality because we are going to achieve this upload functionality using postman how we can upload the file right and after inspecting this one just come to this network and just place press control r and what you need to do just uh, we have an option clear networking here click this upload again so you'll see this upload option over here just select that one and here you'll see this is the request url request url and request method is post method right and it status code is currently 500 internal server error because we directly click on upload button so that's why we are getting internal server error without selecting any file Correct, but the request method is post method and request URL is this. So simply select this URL, copy this URL, come to here in the postman and select the what would be the method? Post method. Correct. And uh, then save it. And I'll show you how to select the file. So this is one thing. So simply cancel this and uh, just come back to the first, first uh, like the main URL and uh, just click on this file download option so you'll see these are the different files have been uploaded in this website right so you can see we have apl api file.txt these are the different files we have and uh, even i have i have tried couple of files so let me upload through postman how we can upload it right so here we have put the url request url and this is the request method post method come to this body and from here select this form data and from here you have to give the key as file 
just remember that you have to give like file only right and as soon as you give this you'll see this option enabled like text or file so choose file from here now you can select the file from here any file from here what i'll do i have some data files here and let's say suppose i want to upload this file do you have any data we don't have any data inside this new test one here we have some data like new test one hello so let's upload this one i'll just give name a underscore so hopefully it will come on top uh, in the website as well here right now we don't have that file right uh, a underscore new test one here you can see so let's see whether uh, we are able to successfully upload through postman or not so select file so you'll select as soon as you give this file you'll and from here you have to select the two options from there we have selected file and you'll see this this is enabled now here we have to select this a underscore new test one open it you'll see here it is showing this one right and from here we have selected file a underscore new test one underscore uh, dot txt file simply click on send so we got 200 ok message that means it has been successfully uploaded and since uh, uh, and you got some HTML uh, response here so if you just scroll down here bottom you'll see file uploaded right through UA also you'll see uh, when you upload the file file uploaded like that so here also you'll get the response and uh, this the file has been uploaded now come to this URL and just refresh this page so you can see it is not coming on top but anyway let's find it out so you can see we have file over here a underscore new test one dot txt has been successfully uploaded now what we are going to do so this is how we can upload the file now let me just upload any other file let's say suppose we want to upload uh, uh, this data file so here we have some data which I'm going to upload and I'll give name like a underscore data so that we can easily identify this right so in the website also we don't have that a underscore data so let me upload that file as well so that is this is the earlier one which is we have uploaded which we have uploaded is text file now this time we are going to upload another file so simply save this and from here simply I uh, cancel that file and I'll choose this time a underscore data now you can see a underscore data dot csv simply click on send now you can see 200 ok message so this file has also been uploaded you can just check that file if you come down file uploaded message is displayed over here and then a data dot a underscore data dot csv come to this website refresh the page and you can see here a underscore data dot csv has been uploaded successfully so this is how you can upload the file using postman now i'll show you how we can download the file right so simply what we'll do we'll create another uh, request and i'll give the name download file now we have to see what is the url what is the request url and what is the request method right so download file is nothing but the the getting the data from the server so simply it will be like get method only but let me show you how you can see that how you can check through inspect so simply uh, inspect this and uh, if you go to network just select this a underscore data dot now here you can see a underscore data dot csv because we have just clicked on that one and it has been downloaded so if you see in the downloads you can see a underscore data dot uh, underscore data has been downloaded so let me delete this for now and here you can see what is the request this is the request url simply you can uh, in browser also if you run this url you will uh, the file will be downloaded and here we have request method as get and we got the 200 ok status so simply copy this url 
and put it your uh, git request save it and we'll see how it will download this right so we have couple of options i'll show you let me delete this one we don't need this kind of like form data so simply you'll select none from here in the body this is fine Just again click on save now let's see how we can download the file so click on send now you can see 200 ok message we got and you will see the response like id name status in this format in text format so if we select json and uh, i think this is will be this will be in text format only let's see whether uh, it will work or not in json so it will plain text it will come like this in the body the response body which we received right so this is how you can uh, download basically you can see the information from the file but suppose you want to download it so how we can download actually so you can do like this send and download so we have if you select this arrow button so here we have send and download so simply click on that one so it will ask right uh, it will ask where to download this message uh, when we run this url it will simply ask where to download it so I have just given the downloads folder click on save so download response it is showing so you can see the file has been downloaded from here so simply if you want to download uh, this file the new text this one so copy this one and put it in the URL here save it and uh, if you simply click on send you will see what is the data inside this one the response right in the text format what is the data inside the file and if you want actually to down uh, it, it to be downloaded then you have to select from here from this arrow send and download so it will ask the desired location so downloads click on send so simply click on downloads you can see this file has been downloaded here over here so this is how you can uh, upload and download file using postman hope you like this video and uh, if you're new to this channel then subscribe it thank you so much for uh, watching if you still have any doubts then please write in the comment section thanks a lot bye bye